one of the guys who was working on the loading dock with you, Mike Ditka, may become the next head coach of the Chicago Bears. It is definite they're going to change. And I asked Ditka if he would take the job if offered. Well, I couldn't give a, a firm answer right now, but that's my ambition. I'd love to have the job, but I would like to know totally what the job entails, too, you know, what my position would be, how much authority I'd have. I just wouldn't like to take anything halfway. Uh, I believe if you if you get the 50% responsibility, you probably get 50% results. Mike, if you're hired, would the Bear offense emulate that of the Cowboys? Definitely, uh, with maybe a, a few... Uh, a few changes that I feel are important, but uh, basically I believe very strongly in what the Cowboys do. Uh, you cannot afford not to believe in success, and uh, of course a lot of the success here is due to a man named Tom Landry. There's no question about that, but I think the philosophy they hold uh, offensively has, has contributed tremendously to, to the success they've had over the years. What a fierce competitor Mike Ditka was. Irv Cross played against him. He's down on the field here in Texas Stadium, and Irv, what kind of a head coach do you think Mike Ditka would make? Ren, I think Mike Ditko would make an excellent head coach, primarily because, as you said before, he was a, a fierce competitor. He was a ball player. He's seen every aspect of offensive football. But again, of course, you know, George Hallis has to make that decision who's going to get that job. But Ditka, no doubt in my mind, has all the credentials to do the job. Roger, you think Mike's ready for a head job? I think you're right. He is a fierce competitor. He's handled the specialty teams, the offensive backs, the receivers. He's the offensive coordinator now. He's worked under Lander. He'd do an excellent job as a head coach. Baltimore Colts selects in the Rams spot on the first round. Quarterback Art Sleister, Ohio State. You happy about that? Very happy about that one. He didn't want to go to Baltimore. No, I didn't want to go to Baltimore. Why? There's a number of reasons. Uh, you know, the, the whole organization's kind of, from the front office, has kind of been screwed up the last couple of years, and I, I didn't want to be a part of that. Right now, you're hoping Chicago. Yeah, Chicago would be nice right now. Chicago Bears. First round selection. Riggs. Jim McMahon. Quarterback. I'm very happy, Paul. Uh, you know, it's a good opportunity for me to go into a, a system now that uh, is going to be changed around as far as the offensive philosophy goes. And, and uh, you know, i got a good friend that's playing for the Bears, so it's, it should be a pretty exciting year. When you selected Argovitz, wasn't the plan to get out of the Baltimore situation if you could? Well, we, uh, we put the ball in their court, you know, saying, Baltimore, you know, if, if you're not prepared to, uh, to pay, then, you know, they shouldn't draft me. And so that's, uh, they went ahead and took art, and that's, that's fine with me. You know, and I just, uh, when we go in and play ball tomorrow, I hope to kick their butts.